Okay, let's see. Hopefully it's right. Um, it is right. Okay, a seven. Now king eight gets mated, so only move. King b seven. Yeah. Eight. Wait. Actually, bishop makes it funny because by making a bishop, you can actually ignore it with king b eight. <laughs> That is a material count. Mm -hmm. And here, black has two works, white is one work. So white's way behind and should be losing. So you have to be looking for ways to attack or go for checkmates immediately. And the obvious move is, of course, rook c8, which, of course, is back rank checkmate. Yep. Next one is interesting. So you're currently down a piece here, but the rook is hanging on e1. Now, the funny thing is, this is actually not a checkmate, which is pretty right. funny for, for number two. But it must yeah. be queen takes rook. Yeah, must and be that's it. Rook. Yeah. Okay. And probably, next probably one. Just end. Yeah. Right. And the next one, material is even here. But again, as we as as I like to tell beginners, uh, you always want to look for checks because it could be checkmate. Like right, you definitely yeah. catch that lightning in a bottle, get that lucky check where it's made. So especially as a beginner, you're always looking for checks. And in puzzles too, you always are looking uh, for checks as well, where you can attack the king. And this is where knight a seven is in yep. fact. Uh, this is this I guess some kind of weird smothered checkmate. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the game of Daniel Darda today, but in D97, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Okay, this is a classic checkmate on G2. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Classic checkmate on H7. Right. Knight and the Queen both attack the square, always looking for checks. Mm hmm. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's saying too slow. But again, Benjamin has to watch the stream, you guys. So that's that's why it's uh, it, it takes a second or two. Th these first like 30 or 40 will be relatively easy, but we aren't going to go through it super, super fast. Yeah, but here, yeah, once again, you just look for captures and checks. So here, queen takes of seven and queen of eight, of course. Right. And again, back rank checkmate. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this one. Oh, even material here. Huh. But well. Yeah. Once again, we look for captures and we see knight takes d4 because it hits the knight mm -hmm. and knight on e2 is offending the rook. And if rook takes c7, there's knight takes c2 check and then we take the rook. And if the knight takes, we take the rook on c1 and we win. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, that's a shame that it doesn't let us play it out. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. so this one you're down, oh, yeah. you're down, a, you're down a queen and I guess you're down a queen and a knight for a rook here. So you better have a check or a mate or something instantly. Indeed. So bishop a6 is check mm -hmm. and mate. Right, because all the squares are covered, nowhere to go mm -hmm. on the D or the C files or the B file. Yep. And of course, knights. Knights mm -hmm. are tricky. Knights are tricky. Indeed, As yeah. uh, <laughs> Fa Fabiano learned this the other day, backwards knight moves um, are, are very difficult sometimes. So here the move, of course. And they and they can capture rooks on B6. Ah, yes, the rook yeah. even <laughs> is on B6. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Check and take the rook. And then, of course, you just have an extra knight on the board, so it's completely winning. Indeed, yeah. You take rook. Mm -hmm. All right, here, uh, same thing. I guess just knight takes d3 and mm -hmm. take the rook on c5 because you take right. the bishop at the end on b3. Right, takes, takes, and then you take the bishop and you just have an extra knight. Mm -hmm. This one looks pretty straightforward as well. I guess like the king is a little bit airy on c1. Always looking for checkmates, and so it's queen d2. And queen d1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once again, we see that the uh, king is kind of stuck behind that wall of pawns. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So rook takes d1. So we have rook c1 here. And again, even material, but there is mm -hmm. captures. As you said, you're always looking for captures. And so the correct right. move is queen takes queen. And then you just take and you have an extra bishop. Yeah. You just take on d3, right? And we have an extra bishop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, just take the rook, and that's probably it. Or it's going to go king f8, I think. Yeah, and, knight right, and then save I guess the knight. we have to go knight f5. Yeah, you just save the knight. Yes. You have a bishop, knight, and a rook against the rook and the bishop. Extra knight, too much. Um, unlike in Asapenko's game here, black, by the way, does not have any pawns for the knight. So that is worth noting. Indeed, yeah. Okay, we win. Um, yeah, once again, we got to look at capture. So we see knight xd2, knight xf3. Mm -hmm. with check and then we take the bishop on b6 right you take with check and then you have a bishop and knight against the lone white bishop yeah so yeah i always recommend people doing a lot of puzzles it's really good if you want to improve your game 
So once again, here we got to look for checks. We see rookie one check, king d2, then rook d1. The king cannot step to c3 because that square is covered by the bishop. And after king e3, we have bishop d4 checkmate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, we have, you look for captures and you see the queen is on c2, rook's on f3. So because of this pin, you can actually capture and the queen moves and you just take the rook and that should be the end of the puzzle. You're just ahead by a lot of material. Yeah, I think so three and we win. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now this one is actually interesting. Your king is kind of pinned. Right. My guess is again, you look for checks or captures. Mm -hmm. I guess it's gotta be queen h1. That's sort of, yeah, it's gotta be queen h1 because of king d2, we have rook d8, rook d5. We take everything and then we take the rook in, at the end on f7. Exactly. So check, takes, check on the king, and then you capture the rook next move. Right. Now here... Okay, so you have a queen and knight. You only have two pieces. Again, you're way behind in material, so yeah. it's pretty clear cut that it's queen e7 check. Yeah, queen e7, knight takes d6, and queen b7. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now this one, white has an extra queen for a piece, so it's rook takes pawn, G check. And rook h8. Yeah. Yep, and then again, the knight, guard, knight guards the rook, so it's just a clean checkmate, so rook takes the queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is actually pretty straightforward. Again, pawn stop any of the king king moves forward, so it's just rook c8 mate. Yep, rook c8 checkmate. And this one, okay. This one this one also um, makes makes a little, this one's a little bit. Uh, uh, it's gotta be knight, yeah, knight takes c6, and queen c6, queen c7. Once again, you always gotta look for checks. So mm -hmm. yeah, so you take, you go queen to c6 and queen to c7 checkmate. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now this one, I guess it's bishop base. Bishop h6. You hit the queen, and if the queen moves, you take the bishop on c1, and you win a full piece. Correct. Yes, bishop h6, and you just take the bishop on c1. Right. Oh, but it goes on yeah. after knight d2. More moves. Huh, I guess um, you just take the knight, and you're up a full piece. Because otherwise the bishop yeah. might get trapped. Right, so you just take, very good. Now here you're down a piece, there's, uh, there's an extra black bishop, but the king is a little bit stuck here. So mm -hmm. the queen, queen a8, a8 check. A8. Yeah, which and... is the only check that is available to us because the other squares are blocked. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We just yeah. take and take. Right. Now in this position, you're again, pretty close to even material, but you're always looking for checks. So it's rook takes pawn. It's... Indeed, yeah. Rook takes pawn, and then you take again on h3 and queen h2 checkmate. Mm -hmm. Should be four. Okay, now this one also pretty straightforward. The king on h5. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit loose, so correct move is, of course, not queen to f7, but you look <laughs> for the other check, which is queen to f5, and then queen takes and, and bishop guards the queen. Indeed. Yep. Queen, five, queen takes g5. Ooh, what is this? Queen g2. Wow, this... oh, so we are in check. So here we only have two legal moves. So it's got to mm -hmm. be king d3 or king e1. So we just got to right. think about this logically, I would think. If you go king e1. Um, right. Um, there's queen e4 check. Queen e4. Yeah, you can go to d2. If you go to f2, there's queen e3 and then rook g6. So it's got to be king d3. Mm -hmm. Like we can sort of disregard. Right. Process of elimination. There are only yeah. two moves, and we see that one move doesn't work. Right. Yeah, so it's got to be king d3. But this is the first puzzle where we actually have to think a little bit. So, okay, mm -hmm. another check. So once again, it cannot be king d2 due to rook d6. King d4, same thing. King e2 is a repetition, so it's got to be king c3. Right, only move that doesn't, doesn't draw the game. King e2, of course, would be... There's queen g2 at least, if not more. And as, as Benjamin points out, the king to either d4 or d2 would allow rook d6. And you would lose your queen. So king c3 only yeah. move. So okay, the the process of elim elimination is very important when you're doing puzzles. Mm -hmm. All right. Now here, classic checkmate: knight h3 and queen g1 and knight f2. Once again, you always got to look for checks. Smothered checkmate, exactly. Yeah. Peep OG. Good job, you guys. Okay, so rookie eight here. Now, yeah, a knight d6 is the obvious move, but then black has rook d8 checks. So I assume that means it's probably rook d7 and knight d6. Yeah. That looks correct. Yeah. And here, another important lesson for all the viewers. We see the idea knight d6, but we see it doesn't work. So what you very often want to do is use the same idea, but in a different order. 
So here we go, rook takes b7, and then knight d6, and we win. All right, now you just take the rook. Very good. Okay, now this one is... Okay, I, I mean, I see I see the move, but you, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But everything is kind of guarded. The, the knight on e6 is guarded. Your rook on e1 is under attack. And so you're looking either for a move like bishop c3, which is one idea to attack the queen and then hit the knight. But I think the correct move is just rook d1, which, unless I'm blind, yeah. traps the queen. There are no good squares. I think so, too. Yeah, I think rook d1 just traps the queen. Right. Everything looks covered. Yes. And then you just take the queen. Very good. Yeah. So, okay. So now in this position, again, even material. Now, you could just castle, obviously, and that's that's fine. But this is a puzzle. And again, you always want to be alert and looking for looking looking for something better and so here this is a uh, classic what we call a discovered attack you, you sacrifice the knight you fork the mm -hmm. king and the queen only move is so, to capture indeed yeah and then we have bishop h2 winning the queen yep takes the bishop and now you take the queen mm -hmm. here we go now this one doesn't look obvious queen h7 actually i think i think i got this wrong in one of the puzzle puzzle brush oh. battle championships um, it's got to be queen takes e3, I guess. Mm -hmm. The king has to move over to b1. Then I guess we take on b2. The king has to recapture. And then queen d4. And you and win queen the queen takes rook. g7. Right. And again, at the end of the day, you have an extra bishop as well. Yep. Okay, so now here... You just take the rook on g7. Yep. Rook, mm -hmm. Bishop. It's got to be something against the king. I guess g4. The king has to step the g5 or f6. And then we can go bishop b7. Right, and king, you collect the rook. The king and the rook. Yep. A here and now this one actually requires a little bit of thought but I'm pretty confident again like most of the other puzzles you're always looking for checks so I'm pretty sure that must mean it's queen h5 king d8 and queen f7 there is queen e4 there king right, b3 so queen e4 king d3 queen d5 c4 is winning huh king Oh, C4. C4, and there's no more checks, right? And if black yeah. goes, let's say, queen D2, we go to B3, queen D1, king A3, and there's no more checks. So I guess right. that's so got to be it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that looks... That looks right. But let's, let me double check, because I don't want to get one wrong here. That'd be very yeah. embarrassing. Um, This has to be right. Uh, no yeah, other I mean, move makes also, sense. Well, there's queen also six. queen A6. But I guess queen a6, queen d2, it doesn't have... king b3, queen d1, king a3, bishop e7. And uh -huh. I think that's fine for black. Yeah, and black is fine there. So I guess queen h5 and queen f7 does look winning. And then queen e4, king b3, and then c4. There's no good way for black to stop queen d7. Queen c7 is also a threat, so yeah, mm -hmm. let's just send yeah. it in. Now queen f7, queen e4, not king d1, because then black is queen d3, check, so you run the king up c4 yep. and then you attack the queen and the queen can't stay on the d file to prevent the checkmate mm -hmm. take the queen. c4 and we just win yep mm -hmm. okay just you have four so you're down three pawns in an end game you better do something instantly to not lose and as we always say look for captures or look for checks the obvious yep. move is pawn to g5 check in the king f3 g4 king f4 and rook e4 check right and the pawns cover all the critical squares Indeed, yeah. And you got to look for checks first, simply because a check could be checkmate, but it's also the most forcing move. Mm -hmm. Right. It, for it forces, yeah. It's, it's very forcing. You yeah. have to step out a check. Indeed, yeah. So that's why it's more forcing than uh, capture. So I think here I think, we have a lolly, right? I think, yeah, we go f3, Indeed. king h2, and then queen f1. We threaten, uh, okay, now queen d1 to f1. Yeah, and, and I guess if rook h5. We just go king g6, king g6 and, we and there are no checks. Yep. Indeed, yeah. Not king g7, because then queen d7 would be a check. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. g6, and we win. Okay, now this one does not look obvious at all. Um, right, so here we just got to look for loose pieces. We see that the bishop on g7 is unprotected, so it's got to be queen of one check. The king has got to step to mm -hmm. e3, e4, g3, or g2, but either way, we will give a check on the king and hit the bishop at the same time, like e3. Right. If the king goes to e3, we go to g1. If the king goes to e4, we go to g2. And same thing if the king steps to the g file. So that mm -hmm. way you, you can check the on g1. Yep. Yeah. So queen of one. Check and collect. Mm -hmm. 
Queen g1, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, next one coming up. Okay, so king d2 here. So again, you're down a lot of material. Open king, you better have checks and mate, or you're going to lose the game. And we have the classic ladder. We have queen b2 forcing the king down to d1 because the rook is covering the third rank, and then rook a1 check, and then we take with the rook the bishop blocks. Okay, so now next yeah. one, this is a king and pawn endgame, two pawns versus one. And this is uh, this is pretty pretty basic. If you go king e7, king f5, king f7, king e5, uh, you don't actually, actually king e7, maybe king d5 is a draw there. So you need to right. sort of start pushing these pawns and making making use of this past pawn that you're going to have on the g files. The correct move is king g6. Yeah, we go king go. g6, and if king e4, h5. And if white takes in king f3, we're just in time with king h4. And we get the opposition right again if it's black's move it's a draw if it's white's move white has to yield with the king and then you win the game mm -hmm. indeed yeah okay next one okay so we have um okay this is not obvious on first glance wait so pawns are stacked on f2 f3 but there's no clear way to do anything there the bishop on b7 looks a little bit loose Right. Maybe very loose, in fact. Um, I feel like it probably should be something against the king, but I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, my instinct Wait, says it's knight it... f4, knight h3. Right, I was thinking the same thing, and I guess he simply cannot defend the pawn on f2. This is a little bit dank for 38, but I guess that's the solution yet. Yeah, it's probably knight f4, knight h3, and knight f2. That seems right. Yeah. To make sure yeah there's no way to do anything against the bishop the pawns or, or nothing either so it, this has to be knight f4 right so yeah in the beginning we were a little bit slow but this is actually getting to a point where we actually need to think but i think knight right. f4 to h3 is the right way to go yeah i know knight h3 and you take the pawn because the rook and knight both attack it yep g4 now you can obviously trade but then after takes knight f2 king g1 they're only up a pawn so you take first with the fork and white has to give up material here Indeed, yeah. And then we're up in exchange. Correct. And a pawn, so we're winning. Now here, again, looking for checks, this next one. And in fact, there's actually a checkmate in one because the G file is yeah. completely covered, Indeed. which is a queen to D7. Yep. Okay, so king to H3 here. So I guess, again, white's starting to checkmate you, so you better have something fast. There aren't really tack there, there aren't really um, captures that make any sense. So to look at some something like uh something like geometry here and so the correct move is queen f1 yeah we go and queen f1 force the king to h4 g4 and then we have queen c4 with double attack mm -hmm. and we now pick up the rook in f7 yep okay next one is actually pretty straightforward again you just you look at checks here look at captures and checks you take the bishop doesn't do a whole lot you look at checks queen e7 is a check but then black and blocks so the correct move is queen d6 which is just checkmate indeed yeah it's kind of funny like some of them are not that easy but this one's just made in one right way. yeah <laughs> all right so this one i would think it's rook b7 because yeah, i yeah. don't see how he can protect because if bishop right. there's d7 and we win mm -hmm. um i guess it's got to be the move yeah right? i mean also in this position you're just down a bishop and they're the king's yeah, pretty safe else. so there's yeah. nothing else that even makes sense so you just have yeah, to go gotta be it. right yeah yeah seven and must be d7 seven. seven interesting so i guess you probably just trade the rooks and take the rook in the corner take right, on e8 yeah. he takes with the rook so feels like again Indeed. process of elimination must be takes yeah and queen a8 there we go oh okay so this is number 44 uh, at first i thought this was a uh, white to play and win i was about to say this is pretty tough uh -huh. um <laughs> indeed yeah, yeah it's like, I, I was like wow the pawns. yeah but, but here yeah, it's got to be b2 because there's no way white can stop the pawn you can take on a5 with a check but then i suppose we just go to b4 and guard the bishop and if white goes rook b8 we go bishop before to block the b5 and promote on the right. next move correct b2 bishop a5 and now you just queen with check ah oh, it's gonna make queen, me play and king, you go b5. king b5 yeah. King b5. So if bishop b6. Mm -hmm. Right. Because if king b3, you guys, there's rook b8, checking the king and the queen. So you go king b5, rook b8, and then you can shield with bishop b6. Yep. Very important. Okay. So this one, okay, you're down a lot of material. You're down two rooks and two bishops. So you better you better be looking for checks. And there are really only three checks. Queen e3 is a Botez gambit. 
Queen h4, King g7, Queen e7, black blocks, and he wins the game. So the only check that makes sense is Queen to f8. Right, yeah. We go Queen f8, and then if black goes... Let, okay, so let's... Okay, goes to g5. I guess we go g4. Mm -hmm. If the king goes to h4, I guess we gotta go Queen e7. Force black to block with the pawn or with the queen. Mm -hmm. And then we have queen e1. Very mm -hmm. important. Check. And then queen e1. King gets stuck. Nothing it can do. And it's game over. In the, yeah, queen e1 on the win. Okay, so we have queen c2 in this next puzzle. And again, this is um, the classic... Uh, classic... Oh, I was thinking of a game, much no? more. Uh, I was thinking of a much more prominent game. It's a little bit different, but it's very similar to a game played uh, in 2020, I believe, in March between Recful and XQC. Um, a little bit different, but same same kind of theme. So the correct move is Queen to D8 check. Mm -hmm. He now takes double check. Five. Wait, did he find like such a queen sacrifice? Um, I think he missed. I, it was it was basically it was it was a little bit different. So it was a bishop g4 check. It was a bishop g4 check. King one rook d1. Uh, mm. I'm not sure if he found. It. I don't think he. No, actually, I think he did find it. But I'm not oh, 100 sure. Insane. Yeah, yeah. Wreckful, wreckful. Yeah, rest rest in peace, Byron. We all miss you. Um. So okay, so king e8. So rook d8 is checkmate here. Let's move on. Yep. Next one. Um. Indeed. Okay, now we have to think. So this is the first one, and I'm assuming this is the classic Trojan horse, which is you play right. bishop takes h7. So I, so I guess it's bishop takes h7, the king takes, and then I guess it's knight g5 and not queen. Yeah, we do not play queen d3 because of queen d3 there's g6, knight mm -hmm. g5, and king g7. Right, and then queen so h3, rook h8. Yeah. So yeah. we go knight g5 first. If I mean if king up, it's gotta be lost somehow. Like right. And king back, queen d3. Queen d3. If g6, queen h3, he cannot mm -hmm. defend. Right. Um, I mean I guess rook e8 is also lost. Probably. Right. I mean you can just check on h8, king e7, and then you have bishop g5 check. And f6, right. queen g7. And if f5, we always just go queen h3. Right. So and this must be right then. Yeah, it's got to be bishop takes h7. There's also right. nothing else. Mm -hmm. For people who are wondering, by the way, I made a joke by saying Trojan horse, but this actually this, this tactic is known as the Greek gift. Um, it's yeah. a Greek gift, and of course, it's it is kind of named after the Trojan horse, where you give a gift, but it's not actually free because there are a bunch of guys inside ready to ready to invade your city and, and take over in the in the dead of night. Indeed. So it's yep. bishop takes h7, not queen d3 as we said, because g6, knight g5, king g7, then if queen h3, there's rook h8. So yeah. it's check first. Mm -hmm. Queen d3, threaten the checkmate. Um, ooh, I think I saw that video. <laughs> Good Little video. I think that's a joke about saying some movie or there's some video of where everybody in the dead at night takes over your city. Um, <laughs> yeah, so now you take the queen on g5 here. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, queen. Okay, so next one, um, <laughs> the Brad Pitt checkmate. Good one. Good one, you guys. Um, so, so we this are playing is... with white. So I think... Okay, so once again, let's just use the process of, of elimination. It's not king e3 because black trades on a4 and queen, king d5, and we're in mm -hmm. Zuchuan. Right. So I guess it's got to be a b, king takes and king e3. And then king b4. King b4, d5. If black takes d6, a4, d7, a3, d8, the queen one moved mm -hmm. earlier. Right. And if king c5, king e4, king d6, king d4, and we win. Right. So that has to be correct. Yeah. It's got to be. A, B, and then King E3. And important, yeah, yeah just D5 here. So we said takes D6, A4, D7, A3, D8, A2, Queen D4 stops the pawn. Now you just take right. on E4 and go King D4. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next one up, Rook B8 here. Okay, now this one, my instinct says, is probably Queen E5 to create the Pyramid of Giza. Um, because if you don't do that, black's getting a check on f1, and you're probably in some trouble here. I also don't see how you save. I mean, maybe you can go rook to d8, but then I will trade the rooks and take the bishop on e3. So this must this must be winning right. after queen e5 yeah. and queen f1. Because if H2. let's say queen f1, we go king up. Mm -hmm. Queen e2, we go king, king h3. Queen f1, king g4, and there's already no more checks. Right. 
So I guess that's got to be it. Because, I mean, something... There's no... I mean, taking on b8, there's never a checkmate. Because the king always has a c7 square. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think it's I queen e5. I think so too, yeah. There we go. Rook e8. Now you just trade and you take the bishop on e3. Yep. Okay. Number 49. So this one is black as a bishop and knight for the rook. Again, looking for captures. If you take the rook on b8, he just takes. If you take the queen, he just takes with the rook. So it's not a capture. So then again, look for checkmate. Look for check because mm -hmm. it might be checkmate. You play queen d6 yeah, check. It's got to be queen d6, yeah. And then uh, we take the rook on b8 with right. the queen. So if you take the queen on e8, then he takes with check. And then you move and he captures. And if you take the rook on b8 with the rook, you get checkmated in one on e1. So you take with the queen. And then the rook guards e1, and it also guards b8. Yep. Okay, so next one, rook to a1. Now this one, you have to start looking for tactics. You're way behind. Your knights are kind of on the rim. But the one thing is there's a soft point on g2. Mm -hmm. So just looking at it, first, first idea is rook a6. But after rook takes, queen b7, there's rook c6. So I'm pretty sure you just go queen yeah. b7. b7. There's no block. Right. And then you win either the rook on a6 or you get checkmate on g2. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, rook chat. Queen b7 right away. Yeah, so those of you guys who are wondering, um, rook takes a6 is a very, it's the, the first instinct is to take and play queen b7. That's why sometimes you need to step back and see if there's another option. And this also applied, I think, to the game between uh, Pragnantan and and, um, and Magnus yesterday, where the first instinct, you look at it, it doesn't work. And then if you, you try to dial it back and see there's another way you can create the same sort of threat. Um, Indeed. So yeah. yeah, so queen b7 must be the correct move. And now you just mm -hmm. take the rook on a6. And that's correct. Now we have c5 here. King looks a little bit stuck, so I presume it's rookie seven to use the stack and make the checkmate. Right, yeah. So rookie seven, the only move black still has is d4, but I guess there we just go c4, c4. and close the mating mm -hmm. net. Correct, yeah. And if you play c4, d4 closes it as well. Yeah. But here's c4, and then checkmate, king has no squares. Rookie six is mate. All right, mm -hmm. number 53 coming up, queen e3. So I guess here you're looking to s looking at multiple moves. It, actually, there are a lot of moves here. Wait, there is not just even one move. There's rook f7, rook f6, rook f4. There's also king h7 or king h8. But I guess I if you guess, move the king, just to start with I the guess, king, there's queen h3. Right. So I guess for that reason, it's got to wait. Rook uh, f4, I was thinking I rook think. f4, but then there's still queen h3. Queen g oh, queen, queen g5, queen... king h2. King h2 and then rook h4, right. rook g1. Aha, uh -huh, tricky, tricky. Yeah. So here's where they're already getting a bit tricky. Huh, wait a second. Okay. Yeah, this is actually so quite what, tricky. What about King H7? If they go Queen H3, we go Rook G8, King, King H2, H2, Queen F4, King H1, one, Rook G4. Right. That very well might be correct. I guess there's also the question though, after King to H7 here, what if white goes rook g1? This is also. Well, then question. we go rook g8. Mm -hmm. King of four, mm -hmm. queen h5 is going to be checkmate. If king of one, right. we trade. Trade and then rook, rook g8. g8 and queen h1. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's got to be king h7. I don't see the. I mean, rook, rook h1 loses. And I think mm -hmm. that line with queen h3 is very important. Rook g4 yeah. at the end. Seven, king there, check. King h1, rook g4. Yeah, I think that is actually winning. <laughs> it could be yeah. a quiet, could also be a quiet move like c5. Uh, not exactly. Yeah. That's that's not quite working here. Um, kind of have to do something fast in this position. So yeah. okay, so yeah, so it's king h7, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rook g1, and yeah, this line we mentioned with rook g8. Yep. Trade. And then I guess in the end you just collect the rook, right? Right. Queen h1, queen a1. Now rook f1 here. Now this looks like an easy checkmate in two. We need three check. Uh, yes, queen f1 is just checkmate. And yeah. Then, yeah, not rook f1. I guess after king e2, there's probably some way you can win here, but it's not a forced yeah. checkmate. So you want to go for the forced one. So it's queen e3 check. And now you take, and after white cannot take with the bishop, put the, put the king in check. So you trade, mm -hmm. and now queen f2 is checkmate. Okay, so next one. Now, this one I think I've actually seen before. I'm pretty sure it's knight b1. Um, um, wait, wait a second. 
basically you cannot let black queen the pawn the black queen's the pawn and the bishop gets out so that means this is actually not this is already quite tricky i guess um, this one's looking extremely dank Knight B1, Knight B6. Could it be, could it be King B4? And then if B1 Queen? Bishop takes, King, King B2, B2, King, King A4, A4, and King C1, you have Knight B3. Knight B3, and then the funny thing is if Black goes Knight C3, we go Bishop B1, Knight takes a Knight Yes, four. yes, I think that does win. The line that I was also wondering about though was like, why, is, just, to, just out of curiosity, Knight to B1, Knight to B6, King C3, why does that not win? I guess black just says knight d5 check. Yeah, and you can't, you can't, you can't, um, you can't get out. Right. King b4, b1 takes, king b4 takes, king c1, knight b3 wins, agreed. And king b4, knight c3, bishop b1 is actually very beautiful. King yeah, b4, knight, knight goes anywhere else, it's just checkmate in one anyway. So, b1, bishop b1, king b2, king a4 wins. King b4, knight c3, only move them, bishop b1. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Let's send it. Yeah, and now you go bishop b1. Mm -hmm. And knight e4, and there's no way to stop checkmate on c3 because the bishop is stuck in the corner here and it takes away the square from the king. Yeah. And next one, g5 is played here. Okay, let's see. Uh, g5 is played. Instinct it's is that b5. b5, yeah. I mean, if you trade on okay. g5, he gets a past h pawn, so that can't right. be right. Yeah, so I guess it's got to be b5. Um, let's say he takes in king of two, we go b4, mm -hmm. king e2, b3, and I guess that we're just in B2. time, we'll lose too much material. Right, that that makes a lot of sense, and I think that just, just wins the game, basically. That, yeah. That seems pretty straightforward to me. I don't know if you want to send it or not, but... Seems... Sure, no, I'm pretty sure it's got to be b5, so feel free to send it. King yes, two. Sure. I guess B4. now again, same thing. Just beef, just run these pawns, connect it, and end the game. Yeah. Now it takes. Now b3. Now just take the rook. Very good. GH. Yeah. The rook to e4 here. So on first glance. It's be hmm. Something against the king. Mm. I see knight f3, queen a2. Those are the two moves that I see that make sense here. Isn't huh? My instinct is that it's knight f3, gf3, and then queen a2 on first glance because knight knight f3, queen f3, rook d1, king e2, rook d2 is made. So that that can't be good. Um, what well, right? Because like rook rook d4, queen a1, and we win, right? Because rook d1, right. queen c3. If queen d1, I guess mm -hmm. we also go queen uh, c3. I actually don't see a way for white to stop the checkmate. So my instinct is that it must be takes and queen a2. That's just my instinct. Um, just looking at this position right off. What else can it possibly be? Um, is the question. What other moves make sense here? Huh. I guess so. Yeah, taking queen a2. Rook b4, queen a1 looks winning. Win. And mm. I guess. Queen d3, we could even throw in a check first. Like right. I don't see how I can defend, but. I don't see anything else that makes sense, though. So. Mm -hmm. My instinct says it's time to send it. Just my instinct. Yeah, sure. Looks winning, yeah. Because I mean, Yeah, chat says, someone one, in chat said rook d1, but after queen d1, rook d1, king d1, queen d5, white just blocks with rook d4, and you're you're losing the game. Indeed, so, yeah. So, knight f3, g3, queen a2. No right. queen and then, moves. Let's think for one second, is there any upside to queen a2 right away? I guess... It's knight d4. I guess knight d4 is a good way to block, yeah. And then if queen a1, king d2, why does... Right. Right, hang on. So knight x f3 and queen a2 does look pretty clean. I think that's just the correct move. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time to send it. Yeah, so knight x f3 and queen a2. Oh, queen f3? I think now you... Ch yeah, this one actually is much easier because rook d1 rook takes, d1. takes. And if rook d1, king e2, rook d2 is mate. 
Yeah. And I guess queen it's a four, four to take the queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we take the queen force on d1. Right, not queen e4 because then there's queen to e2. Right. There we go. A. Okay, so here we're down what? We're down a queen, a whole queen. So yeah. it's pretty it obvious you have to look for checks. So it must be bishop it's gotta e6. got to be bishop e6, right? Um, black goes to h7 or h8. Then we go knight g4, bishop h6. We take if king g7, knight of 5 is checkmate. And if he goes to h7, we take bishop. And if takes, takes, we have... This knight must be knight g4. F7 in the end? Wait, so Wait, you, you mean, you mean knight. knight g4, maybe bishop h6, and knight h6, right? I guess knight h6, yeah, because if we take with the rook, then he's going to take, and then rook d6. Uh-huh, and, and then takes and king h6, yes. Yeah, so I guess we take with the knight. Seems so right on first glance. I think if there's anything, any reason that it doesn't work, um, it must be the right approach, though. I think it has to be the mm -hmm. right move. I can't think of anything else that makes sense here. Yeah, I think it's knight f4, just gf4. Yeah, I think it's knight g4. I'm going to send it. Yeah, knight g4, knight takes h6, right? And right. there's no way for, I mean. Um, so well, rook h6 is, is no good. So what what else can you even play? If you move the knight from d6, there's rook d1. If you move the bishop, you lose the knight. Knight f7, rook d1. I'm just wondering, like, let's say we take on h6 with the knight. I mean, black still has moves, like, like moving the four? knight. Yeah. How... Uh -huh. Hmm. Because it's got to be winning somehow, but I... So you're thinking knight h6, like, knight e7, maybe? Knight e7, maybe. But then... maybe after knight e7, there's, like, knight hf5, king g6... Bishop rook h6? No, there's bishop f7, queen f7, rook h6. Oh, rook h6. Ah, that's very nice, yeah. So I guess it's just always got to be winning somehow. Yeah, I don't see any other moves that make sense here. Yeah, let's stick with the knight. It's got to be the move. I mean, rook, rook h6 is actually probably winning, I suspect, in that line you mentioned with queen takes yeah. and rook d6 takes and rook c6. But that's pretty long, and it's not, it's not winning on the spot, so... Right, so probably knight takes h6 is, is winning, yeah. All right, I'm going to send it. That's right, okay, and takes. Okay, good. Good. And we just take a knight of seven. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Two. Okay, so this one, hmm, it's got to be... G2. He takes g2, the king goes to d3. Then we go maybe... Bishop H6. Oh, rook H2. Okay, it's I rook like rook H2, 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 I think. Yeah, I think it's rook H2. Well, rook H2, there's queen E2. Wait. But queen E2. Um, queen E4, maybe? The knight takes? Aha, uh -huh, and then D takes King D2. No, no, you're right. That does not work. I mean, I, I don't know if that, does, if that doesn't work, but that option is there. Mm -hmm, right. Something we have to get. But maybe queen E2, maybe queen H3 is just winning. And then queen f3. G2. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's just winning. Okay, but the first yeah. move has to be queen g2, I think. So I'm going to play queen g2, because it's the only move that makes sense. Yeah, and then king d3, I guess rook, e, rook h2 is winning, yeah. And if a7, I guess we just go to b7. Mm -hmm. And if they queen, I guess we take with the rook. If queen d5, I guess we take and c6. The fourth knight. Right, because the A3 is hanging at the end, most likely. Yeah, it's got to be winning. Yeah, it feels like the move must be rook h2. Yeah. Bishop, I mean, well, wait. Bishop h6, there's just queen e2, and you're, you're not winning. I mean, not winning on the spot, that's for sure. So... No. <sighs> rook h2 does look pretty good. I think it has to be rook h2. Must be rook h2. No other, no other moves here make make a whole lot of sense. Um, but I, the the volume is good, right? Uh, I think on my end it's good. My mod said the volume was good. I'll, I'll double check. Yeah. Um, but they, they said um, said the sound was good. Mm -hmm. 
I think I think it has to be Rook H2. It's not Knight F4. There's Rook takes F4. Uh, yeah, sound is good. Sound is very very good. So okay, my instinct is that the move here must be Rook to H2. I don't see any other moves that really make a lot of sense here. Yeah, I guess we just got to make sure that after A7, nothing bad happens. But yeah, we just go King B7 only move. A8 we gotta take with the rook. Mm -hmm. 25 we take and C6 and right. It should be winning. Well, what other moves are? I guess what other moves are there even here besides rook H? There's also a question like Queen H3 maybe is a move. I mean, can't be a move because mm -hmm. A7, King B7, A8 takes Queen B5 is actually losing. So you yes. can't move the queen. I mean, it's like either it's Bishop H6 or it's Rook H2. Those are the only two moves that I that I see here that make any sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But if you go Bishop H6 here, I mean, I think White can even maybe just go... Uh, maybe A7. Maybe not A7 there. Um, nah, I mean, Rook H2 looks... Looks good. I mean, Bishop H6, it could be a move. But maybe, hmm. But Bishop H6 also allows uh, Knight to E2 even. Oh, wait, no, then you have Rook right, E8. Yeah. No. Hmm. yeah, no, there's that. Um... No, but I think Bishop H6, the move is on Queen E2. That's the problem. No, but then yeah, Queen or H3. could... Hmm. Could there be something insane like let's say bishop h6 a7 king b7 mm -hmm. a uh but there might be like a8 rook takes okay, ah, 96, yes a, no but... no you're right a7 king b7 a8 takes rook a8 queen d5 trade trade of c6 or knight d6 shot right yeah there's stuff like that i was even wondering if knight d5 is a, is a move uh -huh. probably not but i mean there's all these options so i mean rook h2 looks a bit more straightforward and I think we concluded that Y doesn't have a defense. Right. So it's gotta be Rook H2, I think. Um, I have Queen D5, C6. Yeah, I think I think it has to be two. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, it's right. Um. It is right. Okay, a7. Now king a8 gets made. It's so only move. King b7. Yeah. A8. Wait. Actually, bishop makes it funny because by making it a bishop, you can actually ignore it with king b8. <laughs> okay, um, but <laughs> but yeah. I that, mean, yeah. We just gotta. Well, actually, king b8. There's bishop d5. That's true. That's true. Yeah. They made it but, a. They made it like a queen. It's an obvious capture. It's like trying to be funny by making it a bishop. So, right. Yeah. So it must be rook a8 because yeah, king b8, bishop b5, yeah. queen c2, king c4, queen d2, king c4. It yeah, must be rook take in the yeah, because king eight, yeah. queen c six will get checkmated. So it's got to be rook six. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Very good. All right. Next one up, number fifty nine. Okay. Now this it's one. It's gotta be um, knight c three only I think move. C three. He takes with the, the queen, and then we go rook h five. Threaten the mate, I think. There's also a bishop d6. Or. But it could be a rook h5, yeah. Because it's a rook h5, I don't see a defense right mm -hmm. away. The first move has to be knight c3. Right, yeah, because if you take with the bishop, then rook takes c4. And then g3? Ah, uh, queen e7, maybe. Yeah. I think queen e7 is holding, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. But I mean, the first move has to be knight c3. Yeah, it's gotta be knight c3. He's gonna take with the queen, mm -hmm. and then rook h5 does look pretty good, I guess. Because bishop d6, bishop d6. The question is, do we? I can even just go it. bishop f. Oh, bishop f3, rook, rook c5. c5. So then ah, uh, b3. Huh. Bishop d6. I don't think it's bishop c bishop d6, but I mean. Right, but you have to figure out why before we just play the move. Maybe just bishop d6, bishop um bishop to d3. Rook yeah, because rook c5, g3. 
Yeah, rook c5 uh -huh. g3. Yeah, that has to be right. And rook h5 h3, right? Mm -hmm. See, I guess it's gotta be okay. So knight c3, queen takes rook h5. Right. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, we do right. hit, we do try and checkmate, and we do hit mm -hmm. the bishop on e4. Yeah, I'm. It has. If it's not knight c3, then I don't know what. Then I don't know what the point of the puzzle is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play knight c3. This has gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be knight c3. Queen c3, as expected. Yeah, as expected. Yeah. And it's worth yeah, noting for, for those of you guys in chat who are wondering, this is also how I approach like even just regular chess. When there's an obvious move, I play the obvious move and then I think versus trying to solve the whole thing on the spot. If there's an obvious move, I always will play that move um, and then think on the next turn, uh, just for people who are wondering. So it must be rook h5, only move that leads to checkmate, I think. Because yeah, bishop d6, bishop d3, and g3 next move, you have nothing. Indeed, as far as I yeah. can tell. Yeah, rook h5 does look winning i mean something like queen g3 we take an e4 queen takes e 7 i guess can never work um just queen e5 they're threatening the mate on h2 uh queen e5 is yeah it's a pretty clean win let's say yeah no it's that's got to be winning then i think i think it's got to be h5 Maybe yeah i think i think it has to be rook h5 because bishop bishop d6 bishop G d3 i just don't see the win rook h5 h3 mm -hmm. rook anywhere else g3 yeah, it has it has to be rook h5. It, it has to be rook h5. No, nothing else makes sense here. I think. Let me make one more so, second. Yeah. Okay, so rook h5, queen g3, queen e, queen e4 is just winning. Rook h5, queen g3. Yeah, so rook h5, queen h3, queen e4 wins. Rook h5, h3, queen e4 wins. Bishop f4, queen f4 wins. It must be it must be rook h5. Only move. I I, I think rook h5 just wins. So I'm I'm gonna send it. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's go rook, rook h5. Yeah. H3. And now you just take the bishop. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 60. Okay. Now a4. Now That's this one perfect. I've actually I've seen this before. And I've got I've gotten this wrong. I got this wrong in the Puzzle World Championship. Um. Uh huh. But. Okay, it's gotta be so okay. Bishop c6 looks very tempting. He goes queen a7. Queen a7. Then if and you I fake, think it's h2. yeah. I think it's bishop g2. Is it bishop g2 first or not though? I think it's. I think I'm pretty sure it's bishop c6, queen a7, bishop g2, rook h2, queen c8 with knight c6. I'm pretty sure that's what what it is. Uh huh. And rook g2, knight c6, and we just win the queen. Yeah. And if like a5 also knight c6, and we can always drop the bishop all the way back. Right. And you just so take... guess, Yeah. That does look pretty good because it's all forced. Yeah, yeah. No, I th I think I think that's correct. Yeah. I, I think it's bishop c6. Um maybe I'm wrong. C6, take six eggs. Um Yeah, I don't what I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm doing like the false start symbol or something. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, anyway, it's got to be. It's got to yeah. be. Yeah. Bishop c6 and bishop takes g2. And then queen c8 does mm -hmm. look like a pretty good move. Yeah. If d5, we just take the pawn. I guess it doesn't change anything. Knight c6 can simply not be stopped. And white also doesn't mm -hmm. have a way to get the queen out of there. So, yeah. Bishop yeah. I think it's good. I, I mean, I think it has to be bishop c6. That, that, that I'm almost certain that's the first move. I don't see anything else. Bishop a6, yeah. a5 is wrong. No other moves make sense. But this has to be the first move. Yeah. yeah. So, queen, queen here. And I'm pretty sure that I I think when I got it wrong, I think I played queen c8 or something. But I think, yeah, I think you just mm. take on g2. a5, you take the rook. I mean, any, any rook h2 is the only move. And mm -hmm. then queen c8. And there's, I'm pretty sure there's no way out of the, out of this box here with knight c6. Um, yeah, and I think so too. Yeah, I think, I think, I think this has to be correct. But wait, why is queen c8 first? Queen c8, a5 is why. A5, queen yeah, yeah bishop g2, yep. a, b. Yeah, Anything and then I could. I mean, you're probably well. Actually, maybe you aren't even winning there because there's queen c7 at the end. Yeah, queen c7. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to be bishop g2. Yeah, yeah bishop g2 looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, and now it's queen c8, of course, to trap the queen. Yeah, it must be queen c8. A5, knight c6. Yeah, queen c8's got to be right. So yep. Otherwise, white goes a5, only move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five and then knight looks good. C8. Six trap. The Queen. Yep. Let's take, just take the queen. Yep. There we go. Sixty-one up. Doubters mm -hmm. out. You lose. <laughs> um. 
Okay, so uh, this so one. This one. Um, well, it can't be a rook move because H2 is checkmate. So it can't be like rook A6. Right. Not a pawn move. I mean, it has to be queen A8, but then after queen B8, the question is queen A6. Queen B7, you don't actually have a win. I guess we take the bishop on A3. Uh, could be. Let's see. Right, so let so okay, queen eight is probably four. There's also rook takes d4 here as well, I guess. Rook d4, cd4, if... rook c no, rook c6, just rook d8. I mean, rook d4 is an option. Cd, then there's queen a8, queen b8, queen c6, queen c7, queen mm -hmm. a6, and then if uh, queen b7, rook c6, and rook b8, b6, and we rook pick up the bishop on a3 yeah. at the end. But rook d4, yeah. I mean, is there king b8 by any chance? Yeah, and then you can't take a6 with so queen h2, yeah. No, no, that, that's actually I mean, no, well, that that, yeah. that is still the uh, question. Like, queen h2, king f1. Or, I yeah. mean, there's check and rook e8. King, takes king f1, check, king e2, rook e8. King d2, queen c1, queen c1 and e1 are mate. If king f3, queen h5, king f4, queen g4 is mate. Yeah, and, well, and if king g3, king g5, queen g5, and I guess we don't mm -hmm. right. win there. Yeah, that, 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 that has to be wrong. So by right, that, so... it means it must be queen e8 then. So queen e8, queen b8. Queen a6, queen um, b7. So queen a6, mm. queen b7 is probably forced. Queen a3 is forced. Right, it could just be queen a3, because 92 king of one doesn't uh -huh. do too much. And I mean, something like 96 should also be losing. Yeah, somehow. no, I mean, I feel like somehow, yeah, it just feels like there's something in this position. And queen a, okay, so, so rook d4, I think is wrong, because the king b8, it just doesn't look right. So it's not rook d4. It's not rook a6, so queen a8 is the only move that I see here. Every other move, I think, is just losing. Mm -hmm. There's no other move that makes sense. Um, are we GMs or IMs? We are grand masters, you guys. We both have the highest title in the game of chess. Um, so thank you for asking. Okay. Um, queen a8, queen b8, queen a6, queen b7, queen a3. I mean, that has to be right. It's a very dank kind of puzzle, but I think it. I think that's the solution. I don't. I don't see any anything else that makes sense. Yeah. So we're saying. Uh, so let's say queen a8, queen b8, mm -hmm. queen a6. If king c7, rook one takes d4, it's mm -hmm. got to be winning. Right. Right. The, the mate on the mate on c6. Yes. Yeah. So queen b7 only move. Um, only. Move. I mean, I guess it's got to be queen takes a3. If white. If black plays something like b4, queen a5, we gotta be winning. Mm -hmm. And I mean, 96, something like cb should be crushing. So I guess that's, I mean, if the yeah, queen a3, or, it's yeah, gotta be winning. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that has to be correct. Is <laughs> the ceiling leaking yeah. very funny, guys? I'm trying to calculate that. Yeah. I think that's right, though. I think it's queen a8. Um, yeah. I think, I think that has to be the right move. I don't see anything else that makes sense. So I'm gonna send it. Yeah, sure. I'll go to the. I'll, I'll, sure. I'll go to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. Eight. Seven. Okay, three must be right. There we go. All right, I'm gonna run to the restroom to you guys. So I'll take one quick break and we'll keep rolling right along.